Welcome back everyone. I think we're gonna try to check out a different planet this time around. Maybe I won't, you know, keep dying super quickly. Maybe I'll find out something new. Be pretty cool. So that's about all we learned last time, I guess, was the seed. What do we got going on on the Ember Twin? Uh, somewhere on the Hourglass Twin. One of the three No My Escape Pods landed there as well. Hopefully. Oh yeah, the Quantum, quantum Moon. I still haven't figured out how to get to. Huh? Let's see if we can land on that dangerous planet. <laughs> That's them, right? I'm surprised that the Ashen Twin doesn't show up on my area map. Honestly. wonder why that is. Maybe nothing's been mentioned about it yet, and that's why. Is that the other, looks like the other escape pod in here. Let's see if we can land this sucker. How close should I land this? Let's go here. All right. Easy peasy. What the heck is that? Is that ash being pulled off of the other twin? Interesting. It looked like there was something sticking out of it as well. Right there. Interesting. What are you? Beacon of some sort, probably. What can I learn here? It. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'd kind of forgotten how to do that. <laughs> That's a good sign. Gravity's pretty heavy here. We need status reports from all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear bold signals somewhere in this star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. So this one landed all on its lonesome. It's better than being on Brittle Hollow, at least, I guess. Cause that place sucks. Begin flight log. Escape pod 2. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3. Now launching escape pod 2. Alert collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. External temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable. 
Do not seek shelter on planet surface. So this planet is inhospitable. In what way? I would. I'm curious. Because they all seem inhospitable in, you know, just very unique ways. The heat from the star system sun is more bearable below the surface. When the escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show as a, as a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter, Anona, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. <laughs> okay, so the sand from the Ashen Twin is filling this planet full of sand. Yeah, cool. It can never just be simple with this place. Escape pad. Escape pot hatch. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. What's down this way? Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. The horror that lives. Is it... Is it like another one of those seeds? I'm actually really curious now. What are you? Oh, it's like a giant anglerfish. Okay, yep. Don't want to do that. I'm sure it it will probably eat me. Let's stand this way. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter here. There. The, ca the cavern Mallory found is a wise choice for shelter, and could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand to make sure no one is lost. Okay. And there's this passage over in this direction. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far or deep these t tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the, air is, the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Cool. Let's get some oxygen before, before I venture down this cave. Refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Because we are, we are quite close to the sun here. Ooh, boy. What is that sound? Oh, the sand. It seems like structures are starting to show up more on that ashen planet. Interesting. It's pretty neat. It seems like none of these planets have existed for a very long time with the way that they, you know, the changes are happening to them. You know, they seem to be rapid. Or maybe it's just, uh, has something to do with the way this, uh, things are happening now. Like the, the sun going through phases way faster than it should. Oop. Okay. Is that the pathway? That's filling up with sand? Okay. Eh. The path to the shelter side is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Cool. This is what I needed. Something convoluted. 
To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with a rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. So, you take a left. Go up there. Hopefully, that was the right way. Well, it seems like I found another thing, so I might be in the right area. Be cautious crossing the cavern, the chasm ahead. The bridge Mallory and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's gone. Just completely gone. What happens if I fall here? Probably die. Probably die. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest here. Hurry before the sand comes. I don't have time to rest. Uh, is it up? Because down looks like death. God, how do they get up there? I don't even see remains of a bridge here anymore. And there's pokies. Yep. Oh no. Okay, so... <laughs> I was worried about that. No. Ow. Okay. Is this it? Am I there? Okay. The door. Stairway. Leading up. What are you? Anglerfish fossil overlook. And then there's stuff down there. Dead know my skeletons in here. So uh, I'm gonna check out the stairway real fast. I'm probably overlook the. Uh... This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Holius and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree that it's light, unlikely this dry planet is this horror's, this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly. Mallory quickly, Mallory, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Oh. Oh no. I just have a feeling this thing's not dead. Oh yeah, it's, it's dead. So children found a way inside of it. Huh. It came up out of that hole. Interesting. Oh yeah, I'm. I forgot. I'm in space. I'm slowly suffocating. Sick. You guys needed oxygen, right, to live? There's gra There's there's greenery over here. Uh. Okay.
Oxygen. Yay. That was needed. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. They mess with the sun. The potential annihilation of our entire star system is too severe a cause. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. If we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke. I'm deeply honored. Idea, I, compre I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetime. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. That was in reply to building the sun station. Interesting. What do we have here? Anglerfish. Stepping stone. High energy lab trailhead. Eye shrine district. Some of these are shorter than others it seems. I'm assuming that's going to light it up. So let's start with the high energy lab trailhead. It seems that this is filling up with sand. Stepping stone. I see. Oh! This is buried. That's why. That's why I couldn't see it. That is coming up way faster than I thought. There's another door up there. For the eye shrine dis district. Okay, let's go with the ice shrine, I guess, because things are filling up quick. Power's back on, at least. That's got stuff. Uh, the bad stuff. The, the ghost. Uh, matter. Is filling up rather quickly though. How do I get through that? That doesn't seem possible. There's ghost matter all over this place. And here as well, looks like. I don't like the sound of that. The sand is making me really nervous. Ghost matter. Or ghost matter. Alright. There's gotta be a way to do something about that later. It's gotta be. Okay, I need to get a move on. Yeah. Cool. 
Things are looking somewhat dire here now. What are you? Gravity cannon. Another gravity cannon. Oh boy. And just ghost matter littering this place. What can I do about this? Okay, there's actually no ghost matter here. Surprisingly, it's just the crystals are here. Shoot. Um, can I go over there? Okay, there's ghost matter over there. But if I just go around it, it should be fine. Okay. Good deal. Please get me out of here before I die. Okay. Where's my ship at? So here's the gravity cannon. Ah, I wonder if I can launch some of this sand back up into space. That'd be cool. I'm a little low on oxygen to be comprehending all this. Is the surface of this planet going to cook me, though? Where is my ship? 154 meters that way. Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. Pretty close. Hello. Busted door. Unidentified signal nearby. Another one? No, it's identified now. It's the beacon. Ooh. Oh, sweet, sweet oxygen. Okay. Is that? Is that the Ash Twin? It is. It's not even a thing anymore, really. The hell is it? Weird. What have you got going on? It's a good place to land. Ow. I meant to, uh, <laughs> thrust in the opposite direction. I just slammed my ship down onto the planet. Interesting. What is this? This just seems so neat. What are you? Oh no. Oh no. Uh Come on. Haha. -ha. Oh no, my ship. <laughs> well, my ship moved planets. <laughs> so I guess I'm staying here. I'll have to ride down the next uh, thing. What is happening here? Is this another Nomai structure? So they did eventually get to the Ashen Twin and do something with it, I guess. Okay. Woo 
we are really close to the sun here. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Um, can I read you? Not quite. Step onto this. Yes, there we go. Here's our first delivery. Yarrow, one warp core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Black Hole Forge. Interesting. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin Project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Polk found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit some time to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is a project for the towers being built for the Ash Twin Project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain our findings. Yara, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals a, new, a neutron star's. And go meet her on the White Hole Station. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work here is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Okay, things sound terrible outside. Why are things always terrible? Where does this go? It looks like it just leads straight into the stars. Uh. And that sun is, it is something. Goodness. Is it safe to be this close to it? Why is that closed, I wonder? Can I open it? Can I go down there? I mean, there's one way down. Adventure! What is up with this place? I guess the sand moves back and forth on it? I guess? I don't know, that's what it seems like. It could be wrong. That planet is now covered in sand, and my ship is down there probably buried under the sand. Seems like a just a great time. What do we got over here? Anything? Have I been here? Oh. Did this thing just put me in a spa- okay, I was about to say. What is that? That's cool. Oh, I'm really high up. Oh. It's the first time I've seen that happen. Like, that close. Ooh, okay, well. That was pretty quick. Again. Maybe we'll learn a little more next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.